We think that this was a sequin shroud placed over the skull. In our lifetime, an animal that has been around in its same form for about 20 million years has almost disappeared. My name is Jennifer Sashadri, and I'm a science teacher from Marymount School in New York. I teach middle school science. And we had the opportunity where our school was going to invest in some professional development associated with Earthwatch. And myself and a colleague of mine were selected to come to Costa Rica and be a part of some of the research that's going on that Earthwatch supports and has been supporting for about 20 years. We're here with researchers trying to learn more about the turtles and help the conservation effort by tracking and doing population studies and hatchling success studies. This and really pull the sand back so we can create an even... It's great to be able to go down and firsthand work with researchers, excavating nests, just let me know when she's finished laying her eggs and we can move that way. Patrolling the beach, lying down one-on-one -on -one with a sea turtle that no one else really gets to touch. Students have the opportunity to come down here and do research projects and really make a difference. Another part of our fellowship is under the title of Live from the Field, where we're going to be video conferencing back with some of our students back at home in our classrooms. The girls were so excited. They had all their questions prepared in advance. There you are. Hello. Hi. Sabrina, are you question number one? Is it common for the turtles to lay oh, eggs three. in one place, then another the next year? This year they've had 27 returning turtles that were tagged and were nesting you know, in the last two or three years. So they're coming back. How is the gender of the sea turtle determined by the temper temperature of the sand? Thermoregulated sex determination. Can you say that three times? Uh, if eggs are in the area where the temperature is above 29.5, so we get female turtles. And if it's below 29 degrees, you get male turtles. It's what kind of action steps can we and the girls take to help these leatherbacks? Well, number one, I could say just being aware that they exist and that they're critically endangered. And also just, you know, spreading awareness, you know, getting on blogs, looking at the research, spread the word and be interested. And that's something you can do to help out. These girls would rise to that challenge. The girls were fascinated and intrigued and excited. Sometimes the girls in school start to get the feeling, who are these scientists or these writers? And I don't know that they necessarily can easily envision themselves in those roles. But seeing Ms. Shashadri, not just a science teacher, but a real scientist who's doing active work in the field, I think probably made them be able to envision themselves as scientists in the future.